Hey, David Gaffer from the Barbecue Lab here. I wanna walk you through the Impava pizza oven that we unboxed a few months ago here on our channel. I wanna walk you through it and show you what it's all about. Stay tuned. All right, so we have the Impava PG06 pizza oven behind me here. It's actually been in our possession as we just got into winter and we weren't able to use it over the winter months. So we're just now at the point where we can get it out, fire it up and give you guys a walk around and show you what it's all about. So let's start by talking about some of the things that you'll notice about this pizza oven. All right, so let's actually get in here and measure some things for you so you have an idea of what we're talking about. So I'll ask the camera to come on in here. If you look back to front, we've got right around 25 inches of depth. And then from a width perspective, we are right at probably about 30, just shy of 30 inches in width. And if you talk about height, we're right there at about 11 and a quarter or so inches of height to the top, but to the top of this, probably about 10 and probably three eighths is what I'm measuring there. When you think about the tile, this is a brick base. And if you look at these bricks, you can see this is the thickness of these bricks. These bricks are about a half inch thick. Underneath this brick, you have a stainless steel floor. Now these tiles are free floating. So you can see, I can move these tiles around. I can put gaps in them. I can eliminate the gaps, but the tiles do float on the floor here. If you look all the way in the back here, you can see there is a little ash clean out. That's where you would take the ashes from your fire, sweep them out the back, and then you could go ahead and pull the ash drawer out the back. Now, while we're up here, if you take a look up here, this is the smokestack, and the smokestack itself has a nice little rain cover on top that's screwed into the smokestack itself. And then you have a lever that helps the baffle inside. Now, this right here will close the baffle so no air can go through and in line means that that baffle is up and air can go through. So you can control the airflow with this. So other than that, it's on a cart. The cart is on wheels. The wheels themselves are lockable. What I find though, is it's hard for me to see where those wheels are when I'm standing up top. But on the side, if you look over here, there's plenty of storage for the tools that are included. We have the pizza peel, we have a brush for the ashes and to be able to control the fire. We have a pizza cutter and then a pizza slice server as well. So there's little hooks that go on all the way across here to hold your extra tools, as well as a cover that goes on the top of the oven. All right, so there's a little bit of an overview of the PG-06 from Impava. I wanna go ahead and show you now how we light it up and how we cook a pizza. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around here, get the camera closer and show you how we light a fire in this oven. All right, so this is all I'm gonna use to go ahead and start this fire. You can see I just have some really small splits of wood. This happens to be cherry wood. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a log cabin. So I'm gonna go ahead and get over here in the front of the oven, have the camera come in here close. And this is what I mean when I say a log cabin. I'm gonna go ahead and put two on the side, one there, and just continue to build that up. I like to take the next level and put it just slightly above the one, slightly inside the one before it. And then I'm gonna fill this middle with kindling. Some of my favorite kindling happens to be sticks that we've just found in the yard or here when we're outside. So just some little kindling in the middle. And then we'll light it up simply with a few fire starters. All right, these are some fire starters we picked up on Amazon. I'll make sure that I link them below, but all I'm gonna do is drop them. <clears throat> And after I pick them back up, I'm just gonna slide these underneath here. And those will be our fire starters to get them started. All I'm gonna use is a little torch and light these up like this. Now that those are lit, we'll come back and report here in just a few seconds to show you how it goes. But before we do, you gotta make sure that your chimney is open and running in line with the chimney means the chimney is open. So make sure that that's set open, make sure your fire starters are lit, and then we'll let this go ahead and catch and start a fire. 
Here's how things look after just about 10 minutes of getting that starting to burn down. Now I wanna go ahead and push the fire off to the side and go ahead and get the fire burning on this left-hand side over here and then add and add more wood. So that's the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, to go ahead and move the fire over, I'm gonna go ahead and use this, which this is a, a pizza oven tool kit that we actually have. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this to move the fire over, but all I do is I come over here, push the coals, push what's left off to the side. And that becomes my coal base that I'm gonna work off of now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more splits directly onto my fire like this and go ahead and continue to raise the fire as we go. Because the whole point here is I want a really good hot fire before I put my first pizza in. Here's where it's a good time to go ahead and use the brush that comes with it. And brush this ash out the back and into that waiting. There we go. That way the ash can be cleaned out easy from the drawer in the back. All right, we're at 600 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the door off. We have our pizza made on the peel here. We're gonna go ahead and take this and launch it right in. All right, there she goes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and keep the heat in. I'm gonna take this door, put it back on, and we'll check it here in about 60 seconds. Maybe 30 seconds, we'll see. Okay, that was about 25 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and get underneath it here, give it a little bit of a turn. There we go, we'll watch it with the door off because that is almost done in under a minute. There you go, cheese and pepperoni pizza, sourdough crust on the Impava PG06 pizza oven. So there you go. There is a pizza cook on the Apava PG06 pizza oven. Try to give you guys a little bit of an overview, a little bit of a walk around, see how the thing cooks. And uh, if that's one that you would be interested in, I think there's a couple different places you can find it online. I'll leave a link to the Impava website down below so you can find it if you'd like to find it there. If you're into outdoor cooking and outdoor living, make sure you give the channel a subscribe because we are always going through grills, griddles, pellet grills, we're going through Kamado grills, we're looking at furniture, all the things of the outdoor cooking and outdoor living world. That's the stuff that we review and show you all about. So if you enjoy that, make sure you drop a subscribe and we'd love to be able to see you back here on the channel. Also, we're out on all the social platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We've got a new TikTok coming as well as the Instagram reels. All that's coming here in the future, as well as some fantastic content for pizza ovens and outdoor grills. So if you're interested at all in that, make sure you check us out on those social platforms. We can't wait to see you there. But I'm David from the Barbecue Lab. This has been a quick overview of the Impava PG06, and I can't wait to see you next time. <laughs>